Check one, two, three, twenty, twenty-five. What's up? Welcome to the No Maga Podcast, a weekly show about all things skateboarding. My name's Rick Beta, and you can follow along on social media at Rick Beta, R-I-C-K-B-A-T-A. And you know you can always email the show 24-7-365, no manga podcast at gmail.com. Hopefully you're having an amazing week or long weekend. It's a long weekend for uh, most of us. So yeah, hopefully you're having a great one regardless of when and where you are tuning into this show right at this very second. All right, so in Biff Tanner voice, well, look at what we have here. Did y'all see what happened this past week? This week, actually. This this week. The man who is so gifted at hating dropped two. Yes, I repeat, two parts onto the worldwide, you know, information superhighway. Damn near broke the thing. I had to check it. I had to go to Google.com that day, make sure it still worked. That's right. Gifted Hater decided to throw his name into the very small, uh, I guess, party of one. It's actually now a party of two for the Q1 Sodi push. Yeah. Dude just joined the ranks of Tiago Lemos just like that with two, ve- two video parts in one week. See how easy that works? See how easy that is, kids? He's making me so happy, so proud. Look at you, Joa. Getting your, well, getting your feelers out there for some, you know, GH skateboarding content, you know, for us to consume. I mean, that's what these videos are, right? Just getting some feelers out there. We all know someone who is that polarizing is going to get some hate, right? You know, I mean, mostly from the people, you know, he's like dropped some cold, hard facts on or maybe threw some shade their way. A lot of it maybe was true. They just didn't like it. Those people are always going to hate, right? They're always going to hate. They just, maybe they just can't, you know, laugh at themselves or just like they take it too seriously, you know. And and I and keep in mind, I don't read too much into the quote unquote use of those people. I'm not trying to get canceled, you know. I'm just saying generally. But for sure, he he already has a small percentage of skaters that don't like him, right? There, it's a, it's a small one. I think he's. He might think otherwise. I think he's probably loved more than he's hated, you know. And we all, and they will, of course, they will hate anything that he puts out, right? So that's going to happen. So however I feel like if they're still hating on him after all this, they probably still haven't seen his follow-up episode. That might win him over. You guys, if you're still a, a gifted hater, hater, Check out his followed episode. And maybe it'll convince you otherwise. Like if you saw these two videos and you're like, nah, man, I hate this guy still. Nah, this was whack. This was weak. This was weak. But it might help a little. You know, that might help some people, you know, quote unquote, forgive Joa. But not forget, right? Never forget. Always have to say that. I have plenty of family members I've had to forgive for my own sanity. You know, we'll never forgive. I'm sorry, we'll never forget. But I'll forgive. Definitely never forget, right? But you got to forgive. you got to let it go. So where am I going with all this? I feel like Gifted Hater is sort of poking his head out of the window to see the reactions of like a somewhat serious push into the mix, if that makes sense. Kind of like that reverse uh, Homer Simpson meme. He kind of comes out, kind of looks around, get a sense of what's going on. Maybe he's sliding, you know, sliding open the bedroom window, popping out the screen, kind of waving down to all of us right with with his right hand. Hi, guys. Hi, kids. How are you doing today? Be sure to vote for me for Sodi. Yay. Then he's either ducking from shoes, so being tossed his way. He got some lynxes flying over his head, some lakais. You know, declining requests to take pictures with their moms and their babies. Like, no, no, I can't do that. But love him or hate him, the dude can skate. You can't deny it now. He can back up the words and the trash that's coming out of his mouth with skating. That's the thing. That's what a lot of people have said. You know, they're like, well, you know, he's just, he he says so much crap. He talks so much garbage. But then he could skate. Like, if he did, if he couldn't skate, you know, that's a whole other story. But that's that's what he has going on for him. 
but he's in a very interesting like situation now that he is well the at least the assumption is you know attempting to get some legit dare i say scr- uh, street cred to his name right but even then i don't I, or maybe not right i don't know that's the problem with his brand right is that we really don't know for sure when or like if he's taking things seriously and I was like, think I'm like, or like if he's joking, you know, it's kind of like, how could I compare this? Kind of like, let's take movie actors, right? Ones that, well, we know Jim Carrey can pull it off. Ones that have done like hardcore comedy. And then they go like to dramatic roles, right? Um, it, it's hard to do. You know, Robin Williams could do it. Not everyone can do it. You never know. Uh, is he joking? Is it, you know, Jim Carrey comes to mind right at the top. It's like, you never know. But you have to prove yourself in the dramatic roles as well, because we all know he's got comedy. We all, we all know he's got that. But can he pull it off? But do we know? Is he choking? I don't know. Is he serious? Or maybe I missed something, right? And I don't recall him hyping this video up either. I'm pretty up to date with his content. I think I've missed a couple episodes over the months. But I don't recall him ever mentioning that he was filming for a part. Comment below. Let me know if, if he did. It's like, hey, Rick, yeah, it's this episode or whatever. But I just, I don't know. I just, I think with his personality, he would at least hype it up, even in a joking matter. You know what I mean? Because that, maybe that's the thing. Maybe he doesn't like hyping up videos. It's kind of lame, hyping your own self up. But maybe that's just not him. But I would think just to give us a heads up, right? Like, hey, haters or hater fans. Got a video dropping in two weeks, three weeks, whatever. It's going to be fire. It's going to be legit. But then again, maybe something triggered him in him lately, you know? So maybe that's why we are blessed with two parts in the same damn week. <laughs> that's like straight up gangsta. It's almost as if he got word like, hey, dude, did you know that Tiago dropped two parts so far this year? And he's thinking like, well, I've been stacking clips. I've got skills. I want to prove to all the YouTube skaters out there that I've got some stuff. Let's get it out there, manager. And now. Yeah, yeah. Within a couple days apart. Yeah. Get it out there. We don't need titles. We don't need anything. Just go. Put on music. And by manager, of course, I mean Wesley Banford. And it looks like they've been putting in some work as of late. Now, see, that's the thing. What if, what if all along he's been stacking clips, right? What if he's got a ton of footage that he's going to use all this year and he's just waiting now he's just waiting to see how we all respond but then again like i said i don't think he really cares that much you know he's that polarizing though he has to on some level go okay i'm just gonna see what happens all right release this and he kind of turns his eyes and looks away for a little bit don't tell me how many downloads he's got don't don't read any comments to me so yeah that leads me to believe there just might be Way more after this latest push. Way more. Because we all know he has the power to break the damn internet with a release like this. With releases like this. I'm sure tons of shows will be talking about it. I mean, just I did a quick glance on the YouTube side. There's a lot of people reacting to his video. A lot. A lot of reviews. I, and there's so many I'm like, dang, I wonder if how many of them are good. How many of them are bad. How many of them are just going to be like kissing his butt. Oh, this is the greatest of all time. He's the greatest. He's already made the QS top 10 and landed in the number three spot. That's huge. That's pretty sweet. You know? So he's got some push. He's got some cred. I see what you're doing here, GH. I see you. So back to the videos. Did these two videos do gifted proper? Did it give him justice? Like, not like he was really looking for it anyway. You know, like I said, that's the thing. Like, he could care less what any of us have to say about his videos. But then he kind of does, I think, because why would he release two in the same week? But here are some notes that took along the way. Starting off with the gifted hater street part, quote unquote, okay? Oh, okay. Let me take it. So let me just, I got to take a little breath. Let me start off with the music. Right from the start, though, I was like, here's the thing. I was bobbing my head. Well, oh, yeah. For like the first 12 seconds had me hooked. I was waiting for a, yo, hey, hey, and waiting to hear some bars. But then it went in a totally different direction than I was anticipating. My brain was like, uh-oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and 
And and keep in mind, don't get me wrong. I'm just one of these older dudes spitting in the mic, okay? And I can easily say that this music isn't just for me, okay? It's not for me. I know that. So I'm not the target demographic for this music. I can already hear Elaine saying, Marty, that was some very interesting music. It's not for me. That's that's what I was thinking. Well, that's very interesting music. So right from the start, the music didn't, did not, like I was going to say, didn't really, it did not vibe with me at all, you know. I feel, though, that if you were into this song, that you probably were freaking out right now, breaking stuff in your house, going ape. It's like, yeah, oh my God, Joe, did you hear the song you chose for this video? What? But for me, it was a big, it's a big no for me, dog. But I plowed through. I manage like the pro I am. You know, I got to watch these videos, right? It's part of the gig. And I probably watched it four or five times now. <laughs> and you know me, though, right? When I don't feel a vibe or a song, I like to put on my... Let me put it down. I'll put it on now. Put on my music director hat. Let me adjust it a little bit here. Make sure it's straight. And see what have worked for me. You know, I get selfish. I'm like, what, what, what song would have worked? But then again, I'm also looking out for the skaters, too, you know? It's not just personal. I'm not trying to just do this for me. But it got me thinking, how cool would it be in the future, budget permitting, that videos could give you an option to choose a song you'd like to hear in you know, said video? Right? Right? Exploding brain emoji, right? You guys can steal that. Just give me credit. Send me some uh, stock options or whatever if there's a program that does it. Give us, giving us the option, would you like to hear... Option A or option B or even option C for this music video. Damn, that'd be fun. <laughs> for example, would you choose Dorian Electra, F the World? Or in my case, RBL Posse, I Ain't No Joke, Refreshed. Yeah, I'll repeat it. Here's my selection for a remix version. If I were to be in charge of this video, I'd say, Joa, Joa, hear me out, hear me out. I know. No, wait, no, 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 wait. I know. Hear me out, dude. Dorian Electra, hey, I know you like Dorian F the World. It seems it's great. Maybe it fits your brand really well. I get it. It's fun. It's polarizing as well. But hear me out. If you want to like really want this video to stand out and shine, RBL Posse just did a refreshed album. It's pretty dope. It's pretty chill. Hear me out. Yeah. I ain't no joke. Yeah. Put me down for option B. But seriously, that refresh version, it was a great fit for this video. And not that it was necessarily seeking it. It might just give him some street cred as well, you know? Pfft. Yeah. I'm just here to help, you know? I just I just turn on the mic and hit record. Sometimes I don't even know the stuff that comes on my brain. But think about it. And if you try it too, if you if you time, go to like Spotify and time it perfectly when you start the YouTube video, that refreshed RBL Posse song ends perfectly with his ender too. Golf cuts for me. But I can't get too much of a big head. I got these microphone headphones. I got these headphones on my head. What am I talking about? Jeez. But Hip Hop Joa 2023... It could happen, baby. It could happen. Bag your jeans, DC cups, crooked hat, a couple of chains thrown in there. Yeah. We would be like, oh, boy. Joe is in the midlife crisis stage of his career. Maybe he's going to baggy pants next. I mean, tight jeans next. But enough about the song, okay? You've heard me. You heard my take. Now to the skating. Spoiler, wait, spoiler alert, the dude can skate, we all know this, if you if you follow him, you've seen him, you've seen him do tricks, you just haven't maybe seen him do, do him in lines, but he can skate really well, he's definitely a gifted skater, see what I did there, literally I'm reading my notes, S-K, capital H, A-T-E-R, yeah I know, it's probably been used before, but Pat myself on the back again. Damn, this, this episode is becoming all about me. I need to stop that. But I did write some timestamps down. Here's what I wrote down, okay? Eight seconds in, that opening line. 
I was like, okay, he did a nolly pop shove. Shoot, did I nolly? Was it front side or back? I didn't write it down. I think it was front side. Right? Yeah. But he did nolly pop shove, back 180, setting up for a fakey 50 50, half, ca half cab 50. So that was pretty nice. Okay. And, but I was thinking, like, does that mean he was riding his board tail first to set up for that? Or maybe he was rocking one of those kind of twin tail nose, you know, real boards or whatever. Cause he did, looks like he was riding a lot of deluxe boards for a while there. I don't know. I just had to write down, I was like, okay, pop shove, board spins, then he does a back 180, setting up for that, you know, fakey 50 50, half cab 50, you know? I thought it was good. I liked it. I like it. But what, what really stood out for me in that line was the zero T. I can't remember. Does he hate that brand or not? Like, is he, when he wears that, is he making fun of them or not? Like, I'm, I'm legit question. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember who he loves and hates. And I didn't have time. And I was kind of too lazy to circle back and find out. But I think I saw a couple of zero things in here, right? Maybe a sticker on his board. I don't know. 26 seconds to 30 seconds. I just wrote down, holy quick feet, Batman. Yeah. Yeah. And But I do, here's coming, circling back to the music now, I do have to admit, the music did get me moving. About 37 seconds in, though, okay? It kind of came out of nowhere. I was dancing around my living room. Like, my kids, wife, were looking at me like I'd been, like, possessed. I kid you not, normally I have two left feet. I was grooving. Had me shouting like, give me a lollipop. I'm a pacifier. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And in turn, they just turned to me and just said, calm down, dad, calm down. Breathe. But for real though, from 36 seconds to 59 seconds, that's a long time. What's that? 23 seconds. I'm surprised my Apple Watch wasn't like, you know, SOSing me, you know, like the, the 911 or the paramedics. Damn. BPM went up just as my BP went up. Holy crap. I'm getting anxious just thinking about it, just talking about it. Reliving that. So 36 seconds to 59 seconds. If you can get through that, how many times did I watch this video? Four or five? Maybe six because I had the RBL Posse song. If you can get through that, you can make the rest of the video. You're good. You're in the clear. So kind of like those, uh, like when you're playing the games, like, oh, you get through this part. You're in the clear, man. You're good. You're good. I had to pause it just to calm down a little, though. I'm going to do it right now. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Feel the weight drop from your shoulders. I'm seriously, I'm moving my shoulders right now. You're now in a deep resting state, Rick. And then... <laughs> it was just too much. It was too much for me. I wasn't ready for it. F the world. Dance, dance, dance. Oh, I love that two-trick line about a minute 20. It's like a nice little ollie up the curb, you know, to an impossible off the curb. To Ollie back up to right on 50 50 to front side 360. Yeah, that was nice. That grind almost goes like unnoticed though. Like I didn't notice it the first time around. I'm like, oh damn, yeah, he grinded that. I didn't hear it really because the music was kind of loud, but that was pretty sweet. And how perfect was that fakie manual 360 flip? Minute 45. I just wrote down bolts, baby. Bolts. His ender was pretty sweet, too. This part was 2 minutes, 25 seconds of time well spent. Even if you have to switch the song to RBL Posse's I Ain't No Joke, the refresh version. I'm telling you, though, it works well on so many levels. Even the lyrics kind of speak to his brand, right? Talking about people hating. He's got his crew. But, uh, as I said, assuming that he is legit serious with this part, it sends a message to all of us that he isn't joking around. And that would have been way more of a factor if he had that song. I don't know, whatever. Now, moving on to his second part, though. And this one was posted on Wesley Bansford, Wesley Banford's pay, YouTube page titled, So How Can I Lose? All lowercase, no question mark. This one had 
a different vibe to it as well. And yeah, the music was very similar. Actually, very similar. I was almost like worried for a moment there. I was like, oh gosh, I don't, my, my heart can't take it. But the key thing is, though, the trick selections were a little different. And for this one, they decided to toss in some dirt boarding as well. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Seriously. You're definitely getting the Bible's attention now. Or like, you know, all these Batman signals are going out to the, the, the heads over there. Straight fact. They're like, wait. Oh, oh, he's being serious. This one was more like kind of the Joe we've all come to know, right? Joking around, smiling, flipping the camera off. And not just one hand. No, 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 no. We had a double dose of double birds. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what the hell did we do to you, GH? Two sets of middle fingers? Twice? Ouch, bro. I was a little bummed for his ender, though. I mean, the dude went three straight fakey 360 flips in a row. He was on a gravy train with biscuit wheels and decided to try a fakey double flip. I was like, no, no, what, what was that? You got to keep the streak going, dude. I bet you could have done at least two more, maybe three more. That was so tough to see. I was like, one, two, three, keep going, keep going. Keep, uh, what, what, double flip, why? What happened there, dude? And you know I was waiting on the edge of my seat right after he didn't make that for like another set of double birds. I was oh, could have finished the trifecta of birds. Fade to black. Thanks for coming. But these two parts were a nice surprise. I wanted to bring that up. I I, I don't think, I don't think no one saw him coming. That's what I want to point out. Did did you or was there somewhere where like oh yeah Rick of course he's been talking about it. yeah yeah welcome to the party pal. But will there be more? I think I think damn straight there will be. I mean, look at all the attention he's gotten this week. Look at how long I've been talking about it. A lot of other shows are going to be talking about it. Yeah, it's good for the brand. Good for sci-fi fantasy. Well, as soon as he gets more boards in there, there's a lot. Like I said, it's all real. I think he was riding an anti-hero board in there as well. But very interesting. But I, I mean, I, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see, what, two more next week. I mean, just load them up, Joe. I load them up. It's only between you and uh, Tiago at this moment with two parts each. You guys are neck and neck. Mono e mono. So you've got this. Let all the gifted hater haters know that you, quote, ain't no joke. Eh, you see what I did there? Let me know your thoughts. Did you watch these videos? I'll put them in the notes below. Odds are you probably have watched them, even if you don't like his content, which is why he's good at what he does. Like, damn, I hate this guy. Ah, let me see what he's up to. You know, it's very interesting. We're in very interesting times right now. But yeah, Q1 Sodi Push is getting hot. And I'm loving it. Loving it. This is how it should be done, guys. Load it up on Q1. Come on. Very excited for the next two months. Well, month and a half. Got to get some water thanks to all that talk. Damn. Dude had me talking. Anyone out there uh, check out Slow Impact in Arizona? Ryan Lay's awesome, what, four-day extravaganza that went down in Tempe? My schedule did not align this year. I Honestly, if I could have gone, I probably would have, let's see, I would have been able to fly up Saturday, you know, yesterday, at 3 p.m., and then I'd have to come back by 3 p.m. today. <laughs> that would have been worth it. No. So it didn't work out this year. But from, from the looks of it, it looked amazing. I mean, as of this recording, it's still going on, but it looks like they will be wrapping up. I think they have some – they're meeting at a bar or something. I'm recording. It's uh, 6.05 p.m. right now. So I think they'll be wrapping up in the next couple hours at some bar – but it looked like an amazing event, you know, and, and honestly, I, I thought I wouldn't get any FOMO, but just looking at it and seeing all the, the great people that showed up, it looked like it was a blast. I'm like, damn, I wish I could have been there. So I can't wait to hear more about it. How about you? Did you go? If so, how, how, how did you like it? How did it go? 
and for Ryan and crew, I, I hope it was as successful enough as you had hoped. And it returns next year. And hopefully the stars align. I can actually go. Even if it's just for one or two days. But yeah, it would have been ridiculous. The quick turnaround. Be like, All right, hey, well, I'll pop in and uh, maybe catch this. And then I'm, I'm out. Yeah, from the looks of things, they had a, a lot of fantastic skaters from Skate Twitter showing up from all over the place. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks cool. So congrats. Well done, Ryan. I know you put in a ton of work for that event. And as I said, it, it appears to have paid off for you and, and your team. So I can't wait to hear about it. I know you guys will probably talk about it on your guys' show. And also, hopefully, I can join the damn thing next year. That would be perfect. Come on, universe. Let, let, the, uh, let the stars align for me, okay? couple other things I want to mention. Uh, Kata Diaz. Now, I'm going to butcher this. Kashai. Kashai part? I don't know. You can find it on the Pocket Mag, Pocket Mac website, YouTube. I went down a rabbit hole of her content. She is such a rad skater, such a rad human. I am. She's definitely on my radar. I am now following. I'm all in on Kata. I believe that's how you say her name, Kata. C-A-T-A. But, oh, also her Pocket Mag interview was very good as well. She talked a little bit about mental health, meditation, and therapy, and how much it's really helped her just, you know, in everyday life, not just skateboarding. So it's a must, must read. I'll put the uh, link for that below as well. What else? What else? Oh, I've been enjoying, actually loving the Lens 3 video parts. I know I'm going to butcher these names too. Is Ryuhi, Ryuhei Kitazume, Kitazume and Ryo Morishige. Man, sorry I butchered those. I, I was trying to look for some people introducing the dudes, but no, didn't get any of that. But both had epic, epic parts. Great tricks, great editing, the music, everything. And I'm really enjoying what Tight Booth is cranking out these days. So good. More of that, please. I know there will be, but I can't wait. More soon, please. And then finally, got to end on kind of a sad note. RIP to Otis Bartholomew, a.k.a. O. I was introduced to you, first introduced to you, way back in the great video band. This, yes, the, 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 the house, the garage, Lance Mountain, Neil Blender he seemed like such a rad dude and he the main thing is he liked to have fun you know and i've seen a lot of posts a lot of a lot of skaters he touched a lot of people's lives you know it's co so cool you you know he's was an impactful human when you, you're on your feed whatever social media feed you see all these pics and stories and and people just sending their their condolences to you know to this this human that that impact him so another one was gone way too soon but yeah oh Thanks for the memories. I think, uh, what, which one stands out to me? The one you guys were at the curbs and you kind of just, what did you do? You kind of rotated the board way above your head and then jumped back on it. Yeah, just little things like that. Neil Blender was doing st silly stuff. They were skating through the house, right? I remember they were playing in the garage. Good stuff. I'm actually, I'm going to have to watch that again. Love that. But yeah, RIP to Otis. You know, definitely thoughts to your friends and family during this very, very difficult time. You know, like I said, we lost another one way, way too soon. And hopefully those kind of things mellow out here the rest of the year because it's been way too many, way too soon. But that's all I've got for this week. It was heavy, heavy, heavy on the gifted hater front because that's just kind of what the kind of personality slash skater that he is. And he deserves that got two parts out what do you what are your thoughts talk to you next week